he is, he's doing a great job on Ben Carroll, obviously. You can see that. But we had the lead. We felt like, let's take the chance. And then D House came in, and he was fantastic. Now, now I know you're not a doctor. doctor. I am not. But, but is there any chance I, he I play one on TV. Is that's there any it. Chance yeah. he sits out tomorrow night? Or? I, I don't know yet. Um, that's why we felt like with the lead, get him out now. Uh, because we knew we played uh, tomorrow. And then you just alluded to it. Just what do you think the job Daniel Well was able to come in? Oh, he was great. He was great. Um, you know, putting the ball on the floor. You know, he's a straight line driver and he's a shooter. Uh, he's physical. He's tough. He defends. So he was a good, he was great tonight. Was it a little scared when he went down after that jump? Who was that? Uh, yeah, that's the second time. I think he did the same thing. Uh, you know, in this league now, and he actually got hit, but in this league, you don't know if a guy's trying to sell a flagrant or if he actually got hit. And on that one, he did get hit. Yeah. Um, I hate when guys fall like that because you never know what happens. Talk about shake. I mean, it just seems like... Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah. Each game, it's like, yeah, the comfort level is rising. Yeah, it, it really is. And he's... Um, what the difference in shake now than in the past is... You don't see him forcing it. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't like he ran any ISOs. He just got it through when the ball swung. He just kept it simple. Uh, and that is that is great to see for him. That's a whole different version of him. You already kind of alluded to it with Paul Reed just rolling to the basket. But that's something that you would guys have to make sure have to him and be like, yo, yeah, right. yeah, I had to call a timeout uh, in the second quarter, I think, or whenever, first quarter. Remember, they scored. Um, we messed up three plays in a row. They scored. I called that timeout. That's probably the loudest I've ever been in two years. Uh, and then from that point on, he was fantastic. Trez, they both were. Uh, but teaching him where to pick has been big for us. You know, picking under guys instead of on top of guys. You pick on top, they go under. Pick below, they have to go over the top. That allows him to roll. Uh, and he's starting to get that. He has great hands. Uh, we have two bigs, Trez and Paul Reed. They, when they roll, if you throw it, they're catching it. They both have great hands. Understanding that the other primary options will come back at some point. Yeah. What are you going to reflect back on? At what's well, you just add on. Like, when, when they come back, we want them to join in, and, and we can add now when – think about what we're running, a lot of elbow flashes to our bigs. Well, when you throw it to Joel – that's a whole different ball game. Right now, with Paul and, and, and Trez, they switch a lot of those. Uh, they're not going to switch the ones with Joel. You're not switching a guard on Joel. So that should make us even better. Just, just to piggyback off of it, Tobias just kind of seems like he's taking on, like he was already the kind of a vocal leader. For you yeah. Have you seen him maybe? Take he's been great. Him and George, you know, they, they just both are very vocal, talk. We got three veterans that. Um, they just speak up. You know, teams, you know, you look at Orlando, they're just so young. Like, you know, I was looking at them, and I was like, what veteran can speak up? They, they don't have a lot of, you know, they're all young. And so when things go awry, that's really tough. I can't imagine uh, what Jamal has to go through with that because what is a young guy going to tell another young guy or something? And that's very tough to do. Um, so, you know, with us on struggles, you got Tuck to tell you first, and then Tobias, and then George. I mean, that that makes a big difference. Um, Dr. Morrell, what really stood out? You were at the 20th game by Mark right now. What really stood out to you um, about your team? Our resilience. You know, um, when we – you lose James Harden, Charisse Max, and Joel Embiid, and you win three out of four. That tells you a team that's connected and believes they can be a really good team. Thanks, guys. One more. That was it. Yeah, Thank you.